Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the conceptual model of the UML. So to understand UML, uh, you need to form a conceptual model of language and, the, and this language requires learning of three major elements. First, let me write that point so that you will understand. To understand UML, that is a mo unified modeling language, you need to form you need to form a conceptual model of language conceptual model of language and this uh, language requires requires learning of three major elements so what are the three major elements with the help of those three major elements we can learn this conceptual model of language so the first is you have to know the UML's unified modeling language basic building blocks. Basic building blocks. And the second thing, the second major element that you, you need to know that is the rules that dictate how these building blocks are put together. The rules. First, UML basic building blocks you have to know. And the second thing is the rules that dictate how these building blocks, these basic building blocks are put together. Okay. After that, you need to know the mechanism. The mechanism that applies throughout the UML. So, these are the three major elements that you need to know. If you want to form a conceptual model of language, okay, if you want to understand the unified modeling language, you need to form a conceptual model of language and this language requires three major elements, UML basic building blocks, the rules and the mechanisms. Now let us see what are these uh, uh, basic building blocks. Building blocks of Unified modeling language. So, what are the building blocks of unified modeling language? There are three building blocks of unified modeling language. One is things, second one is relationships, and third one is diagrams. Okay building blocks so don't be confused and these three here are the major elements that are used to construct the uh, that is used to require to understand the uml language so that is the building blocks rules and the mechanisms then coming to the UM, building blocks the building blocks are of three types first thing is things after that you have to know the relationships and after that diagrams if you combine the things and relationships, you will get the diagrams. So, here the things are the abstraction that are first class citation in the model. Whereas, relationships is just tie the things together. Whatever the things that you introduced here, those things are tied together into it with the help of these relationships. Whereas, diagrams group uh, interesting coll uh, collection of things. So, just group interesting collection of things. Grouping the things, relationships and forming the diagrams. Okay. These are the building blocks of UML. Now let us discuss what are the things and what are the relationships and what are the diagrams. So the first is coming to the things. Again, these things will be divided into four types. Don't be confused. The UML basic uh, elements are the, okay, the conceptual model elements are building blocks, rules and mechanisms so first thing is we are knowing about the building blocks the building blocks are of three building blocks are there to construct a building what you need to construct anything what you need you need the things okay and you need the relationships you need the relationship and complete representation you call it as a diagram that a building block so, first in that we will discuss about what is a thing. So, this is a thing. So, again these things in the UML are of four kinds. 
there are four kinds of things in the UML. One is structural things, behavioral things, grouping things and notational things. So there are uh, the things in the UML building blocks are divided into four kinds. Structural things, behavioral things, grouping and annotational. Now let us discuss uh, uh, these different things. What are the structural things and what are the behavioral grouping and annotational things in the next video. Thank you.